Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to the monthly movie reaction to Doctor Strange, the animated uh, Doctor Strange movie specifically. Um, so yeah, this was chosen on the poll, and it's a movie I've wanted to get to for a while, but just never have. Um, it was on Netflix for a while, um, and I thought it was, still was, but apparently it was taken off at some point, so I had to download it, but whatever works right um now i will say that i know the general idea behind dr strange's backstory i've seen the mcu movie with benedict cumberbatch um so it's like there's not going to be a lot that's going to surprise me I know that this is going to be more comic accurate the mcu movie took a few liberties obviously I don't think Dormammu's going to be in this. I don't think that uh, the uh, Grandmaster or whatever uh, Doctor Strange's, uh, you know, predecessor is called. I, I don't think uh, they're going to be a female because I think in the original comics the Grandmaster, again, whatever they were called, is was a old Chinese man. Um, so, so Tilda Swinton playing them in the uh, MCU was a big difference. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I don't know exactly how the movie's going to go down. I don't know exactly what they're going to do. I don't know too much. And even so, it'll be good. It'll be a fun ride, nonetheless. I, I, I'm sure. Now. I'm going to say right off the bat, I'm going to make this announcement here, but uh, for those who may not watch it, I'll also make a separate video. Um, we are not, and I, I really had to think long and hard about this, but we are not going to be continuing the monthly movie reactions into the new year. Um, so next month's December's will be the last one, at least for the time being. Um, and it's something I thought long and hard about and something I felt like I had to come to a decision about because with all of the movie reactions we still have on the um, on the donation rewards and more that will come in with, uh, for example, the February mega stream and stuff, I'm sure, um, since I'm not really going to push for that with the New Year's mega stream because that's a special thing. Um, but with more that'll come in and everything from more donations, um, I don't want to can, to get any further behind. Plus, we still have the movie reaction to the free movie that we want to get to before season two. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> There's just too much to get to. Not enough time in terms of movies. And I don't want to keep pushing off these donation rewards for obvious reasons. Um, and I just don't have the time and energy to constantly be doing movies. So, again, starting in the new year, start, uh, we, we will not be doing a monthly movie reaction. We're going to focus on the movies that will be, um, that will be, uh, for the donation rewards. And whenever a movie comes out or whatnot that I really want to react to specifically, I might do a, another reaction then. Um, we might bring back the monthly movie reactions in the future at some point. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But for now, at least uh, next month is going to be the last one. And I have already decided what we're doing for the December one, by the way. I'll announce that right now as well. Uh, the December movie monthly movie reaction will be Klaus, the um, Netflix Santa Claus movie. Um, it it recently came out and people love it. And hey, it's holiday themed, so <laughs> uh, that will be our holiday special as well. So yeah, again, I'll make a separate video to uh, you know go more into detail, I guess, as much as I need to, but I did just want to mention that here uh, right away. I think it's just going to be the best option because with the monthly movie reactions and then with uh, the donation rewards and all, it's, just, it's like everything's going to be put off and then I'm not going to be, and then I'm not going to be getting to anything and 
Yeah, it's just going to be too much of a hassle. So, yeah, that's what's going on with that. Um, but, that being said, um, yeah, I'm excited to get to today's movie. Um, so, yeah, I've already said my piece about it. I don't really think there's anything more to say. We're just going to get on with it. Um, one more thing, though, uh, since we are still in my bedroom for the rest of this week uh, with recording, um, even though my feet are doing, like, amazing in comparison to how they had been, um, yeah, it's just the... I, I might have my laptop over on the table over here, so might have more of a side view of my face. Just letting you know that ahead of time for the reaction. Um, but yeah, either way. <laughs> so when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, follow the link uh, to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in. Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the movie. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. Okay, and we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So I looked up uh, Paul Nakeuchi, the voice of Wong, who I, I mentioned sounded familiar. He's been in a few things that I know him in, but in that, I, that I've seen that I know, but in minor roles. But the one thing I probably, I guess, subconsciously recognized his voice from was Carmen Sandiego, the Netflix series. He's uh, Shadow-san. I, 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 I probably subconsciously recognized his voice from that because he's also in, like, Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra um, and whatnot. But again, very minor roles, like... In Avatar The Last Airbender, he was in the episode Zuko alone as just additional voices. And he was in two episodes as Le of Legend of Korra, again, as minor characters. Um, he was also in the 2017 Death Note movie on Netflix, though. Um, he was Watery on that, so I, I would recognize I, that'd probably be another one. Um... And he's also the voice of, uh, oh, what is it? What is his name? Hanzo Shimada from Overwatch. Um, which, I mean, I know who the character is, but barely. Um, he's definitely not one of the characters I'm most interested in with Overwatch. <laughs> um, again, uh, uh, I've never really played much of Overwatch. Um, I think I played it once or twice. And, uh... Hanzo was not one of the characters I was super interested in in terms of the stories and all. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so how was this movie? Um, mediocre is probably the best way. I it, It's the nicest I could be towards this movie. There were a lot of issues with it. Most notably, the pacing. The pacing was absolute trash. It went by way too fast. And here's the thing. The movie's about, not including credits, about an hour, 15 minutes. Maybe an hour, 14, if, to, be, uh, to be fair. Um, somewhere right around that without credits. Because with credits, it's like an hour, 17 or something. Um, it's not long enough. Like, the the concept of the story and everything is fine. They needed a lot more time to actually see it fully realized. Because a lot of it went by way too quick. After his, uh, after his accident, Stephen's uh, descent into depression and everything went by way too quick. It was like just, a, it was like a montage, a, a, like a 30 second montage. And he's just depressed and about to jump off a bridge. His training went by way too quick. It's like it needed at least another good 20 minutes, at least. 
to just give a little more time spent on both of those. I just feel like it was, it was extremely rushed, and because of it, it felt like a lot of the plot points were skimmed through. Um, it just... Like, for example, Mordo, they didn't have enough time to flesh him out any better. As such, it was... I mean, even... From even though I knew he was obviously going to be turning bad anyway, um, it they they made it way too obvious because they didn't have enough time to flesh him out further than that. They didn't have en enough time to give more to him, and because of it, also Mordo's entire outlook was extremely weak. Like, you could have easily made Mordo's outlook on everything be more reasonable. There's so much you could have done to give Mordo's outlook that level of understandability. But because of the short time span of this movie, they, didn't, they weren't able to. And because of that, it's just like he was clearly in the wrong, and it didn't lead to enthralling entertainment for this film of any kind um like i said the training went by way too quick it it, it basically seemed like stephen got a hold of things way too easily um even though we did see him struggle for a bit it's still because of the time they had to rush through a lot of it it seemed like there and especially once he got once he understood it it's just like everything was just instant, pretty much. And it just felt way too poorly handled because of it. And it seemed like they just really wanted to push this battle with Dormammu and everything. And at the end, the battle itself was meh. It wasn't anything to speak of. wasn't anything, like, really amazing. It wasn't terrible. They put more effort into it than a lot of the other stuff, but yeah. And on top of that, I don't know if it was just my uh, copy or if that's just how the movie is. But the animation seemed really wonky at a lot of points, especially with the, uh, the lip syncing and the way they reacted and stuff. It just seemed like there was a lot of issues with that. And... I mentioned this in the reaction as well. Uh, one of my biggest issues in terms of that is that nothing had impact. You know what I mean with that, right? Like when you're watching a good uh, movie, animated or not, let's say someone is thrown into a wall. Through sound design, through voice acting or just regular acting, yada yada, through... Uh, the cinematography and film and just the way it's filmed and everything when you feel them hit that wall you feel the impact you feel the power of it the pressure of it like it leaves an impact on you as the viewer there was like none of that in this movie the voice acting like was generally good at a lot of points, but when it came to, like, selling the impact of being either hit or hitting someone or being thrown or whatever, even with two objects, like two swords hitting each other, there was no impact at all. It felt so lifeless and just felt like there was nothing happening. Like... <laughs> I, I, I hate to just go automatically to using this comparison, but it felt like I was I, I was watching a motion comic rather than an actual animated movie. Like, I felt like I was watching comic scenes, like pages from a comic flip by. Because, again, there was no actual, like, power. There was no actual like, raw feeling to anything that they did. 
And because of it, everything that they did do felt boring and unnatural. And it didn't have any impact. It didn't, like, it didn't hit me in any way. It didn't, it, it didn't, like, impact me as a viewer. And in this kind of movie, this is the kind of stuff you want to do that. So, uh, like I said, the story itself, fine. I'm good with the story. I'm even good with a lot of the voice actors. Most of them did a very good job, all things considered. That's my issue is with the way it was animated, the way it was, again, that might, I acknowledge it might have just been my copy, but it didn't seem like it was. It didn't, like, I could tell, like, the difference, like, between when it was, like, all fuzzy and a little messed up and when it was actually pretty clear on the screen, and it's, like, it was still like that. So, yeah, it's just, this was, this was kind of weak. Um, it wasn't the worst movie I've seen or anything, even for superhero movies, but it kind of lends credence to that old, uh, the old, uh, mindset that Marvel is great at live action movies, but for animated movies, stick to DC. <laughs> A lot of people, uh, in the superhero fandom have that kind of ide ideology that Marvel cannot do good, uh, animated movies. And there's, with exceptions, like, uh, Into the Spider-Verse, obviously. Although that was more Sony, to be fair. But it's like... Yeah, it's just... Marvel superheroes just don't have as much good animated movie content. Compared to DC, which is always pumping out uh, hit after hit, pretty much. Even the direct-to-DVD stuff is still does well. And gets some pretty good acclaim. And then you have stuff like this and it's just like ugh. not to be fair i don't know how well this movie did or not but this movie came out in 2007 i know i i know now <laughs> but yeah it's just like it it just had a lot of issues that really that were really issues that took away from it too so yeah just really not the greatest in terms of that, but the characters and story were great. Um, again, I just feel like a, most of it was just really rushed through. And, and as such, it, it didn't feel as like triumphant at certain points as it should have. Um, especially at the end, like when Stevens uh, finally moved past his, well, past, while he's uh, at his sister's grave. And it's like, I didn't care. I didn't find myself caring. Because it, it just didn't give enough reason for us to with the way it was paced and handled and all. I don't know what the dog's losing her mind about out there. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, but as I said in the pre-thoughts, um, next month, our monthly movie night will be uh, the holiday special, and that will be the Netflix movie Claus, or Klaus, or however it's pronounced. Um, um, I assume it's probably Claus, because Santa Claus, but it's spelled with a K, K-L-A-U-S, which normally spells Klaus, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, that will be next month. It's uh, really gotten really good uh, reviews and stuff. I've heard People are really loving it. So that's going to be what I'm going to do for next month. But as a reminder, that will be the final monthly movie night. Um, at least for the foreseeable future. As I just really want to stick to not getting behind on those uh, donation re those movie donation reward reactions any further. So yeah. Again, I'll make another video on that, but thank you all so much for watching, and tell me what you thought of the movie down in the comments below. What did you think of the pacing of the characters, of all of the stuff with this movie? And in the meantime, thank you so much.
And for now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See you all next time. Hey everyone, Connie here, and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you want to check out any of my social media links and more, please check them out over to the side. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave those down below. In the meantime, though, thank you so much once again for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See you all next time.